don't. Is my video over now? Jesus. God damn it all. Just, everyone's a pain in my fucking ass. All right, we're back, hopefully. I mean, God. Everything's a pain in my ass. Jesus, fuck. Everything's a pain in my fucking ass. Okay, so there you go. Now this fucking behind me, for Christ's sake. God fucking cunt. Ugh. I'm really trying here, Jason, Michael. I'm trying to do this goddamn fucking video for you. Okay, so what next? So then we've got Urban fucking Meyer. Okay. And, uh, you know, oh, we've got this great coach. You know, we've got this great quarterback. Everything's going to be roses and pastries. Well, Tony Khan, his son, is spending more time with the wrestlers because he wants to hang out with Kenny Omega and, and the blonde girl with the fucking broom. Whatever happened to her, I wonder. And so Tony's having more fun hanging out with Rebel and all these fucking wrestlers because they're all weird. So they accept this fucking kid. Whereas the football players probably never did and never will. I'm talking about Tony. And my point being thus and this, I think there's a disconnect like Tony Khan of AEW Wrestling. He's no longer giving a fuck about football like he is, but he's not. Like, I'm trying to explain this. It seems like the cons, and I don't know them personally, but they've kind of accepted having a losing franchise. Or it's just like, that's what we're used to here. Like, oh yes, the Jaguars suck and they're always going to suck and y yiddle diddle fuck. You know what I mean? And so, I don't know. I mean, once you have that mentality as a team, I've seen it happen, folks. Washington football team has a loser's mentality. Baltimore Orioles once was a great franchise. Somewhere along the way, uh, for many years, they accepted a loser's mentality. A loser's mentality, folks. It, it goes from the team and the front office to, like, you just get used to you losing. I don't know if I'm explaining this properly, but it's not just the Jaguars, the Jaguars, or the Patriots. I mean, the Patriots might get a losing mentality. I mean, if they go sub-fucking-500 this year and Belichick comes back and they don't fire Belichick... They might just be like, oh, okay, we're in a transitional era, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's why I'm saying when I was in New England and Tom Brady was winning Super Bowls, I was working with Meryl Streep and Civil Shepherd. Um, you know, that's the winning days. Now it's like we've all moved on. You know what I mean? So let's get back to this fucking Urban Meyer ridiculousness. Uh, he flips his, I think I've got the goddamn camera upside down. Now I'm putting it back. I mean, this is a fucking production, Jason. I hope you're appreciating this. What I'm going through to make this video for you. Uh, Urban fucking Meyer. You know, this is what, what's his dick? One of the guys on TV was having a pissy fit about one of the first take guys or somebody. Why was Urban Meyer, uh, basically, why did he not go home with the team is the big dick in the ass. Like, why, why wasn't he with the team on the fucking bus, like, uh, the, the plane back home? He wanted to stick around and spend time with his grandchildren. Well, I hope that blonde chick, you had your finger halfway up her asshole... I hope she's not your grandchild, Urban. Here's another goddamn point, Jason Michael. Why in the... How can you trust someone named Urban? Like, I'm trying to get my fucking head around it. Is that like some old Southern name? But I, I've been in the South here in Florida for a couple of years. I haven't met anyone else named Urban. You just have to question people that have really weird names. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go through a bunch of names and say, oh, you've got all fucked up weird names, but 
when you meet people or like these celebrities that have names that are just kind of off-putting, you should question them. Like question their validity of, of humanity. Like, hi, my name is Urban. Well, what the fuck does that mean? You're urban? You're in this, you're a city? I mean, has anyone deconstructed this? I mean, it's like you say his name, Urban Meyer. It's like, am I saying a guy's name is Urban? U-R-B-A-N? His, he's, it's like, his name is like a city. It's like he's urban. He's urban. He's hip. I mean, what the fuck? And if, I mean, I, I guess you could say, well, that's an old-fashioned fucking name. Like what? I mean, like like Fred or something? I mean, Chester? I mean, what's an old-fashioned name that you've heard that people still use that's anywhere in the fucking ballpark of a goddamn name like Urban? Okay, and I, I guess I'm picking on his parents. It's not Urban's fault. He's born Urban. It's just weird to me and disconcerting that this guy's walking around in polite company saying his name is Urban, and we're not questioning this. We're not discussing his fucking name. Because I've never met a motherfucker named Urban in my life beyond him. Have you? Now we get to the finger fuck of doom. Uh, he's there, and a lot of these players, I'm trying to remember who they fucking were this week that I watched on TV, were discussing this. They were all very upset that an NFL coach did not take the plane ride with his team. They're 0-4 at that point. They just lost a game. This is how ignorant fucked I am. I'm assuming if they were in Ohio, they lost to the Browns, right? I guess. So that would be week four. I'm sorry. I don't fucking memorize the whole schedule. I'm doing things. Um, I'm running film festivals. I'm running books. Fighter play basketball on Amazon Kindle. A distance from Avalon. Uh, so I'm watching this goddamn thing. And uh, <clears throat> first off, it feels like a setup. These women that he's at the bar with. And they're posting on social media. Uh, they're posting that, am I still, God, I don't know what's going on, it's upsetting to me, they're posting on social media that Urban is like hitting on them, oh my God, this guy's been hitting on me all night, who is he? It seems like a hit job, like, like these women were sent by someone who wanted to destroy Urban Meyer. Like someone had a grudge against Urban Meyer. So they sent these little tarts out to get his attention and to, 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 to flirt. And it's worked. So the first video I saw was just the woman kind of, you know, grinding up on Urban. Apparently he owns this bar. And she's grinding her little ass on his crotch. And she's probably 30 years old, you know, and she's getting all hot and hot and bothered on him. And see, here's the thing, ready? If you're, now this, I'm going to go there because all these people on TV, they don't want to speculate about this guy's marriage, but I'm going to speculate. Uh, here she is grinding away on his ass or close to it or in the vicinity of his crotch. And as a man, married or not, it's kind of hard. Like, you feel, I would say this, like if I was him talking to his wife, hey, she's a paying customer at the bar. She was excited to see me because I'm Urban Meyer, and she liked my name. And I had to allow her to shake her ass because she and her friends were, were good customers buying a lot of food. And, you know what I mean? Like, you basically just say that she was so enthralled to be there at my restaurant and seeing me that she had to shake her ass out of pure delight. And as a guy, if you've ever been in a situation where, you know, a woman is kind of dancing near you and you don't want her to for whatever reason, it's kind of like you feel like you're disrespectful if you kind of push them away, like you're insulting their femininity if you reject them because, you know, women are fragile. So, as a man, sometimes some woman's dancing up on you. You're not even that attracted to her. But you allow her to dance 
because you feel that you would devastate her and crush her feelings if you were to leave or she'd think you were gay and tell all your friends that you were or something. So I think Urban was just in a tough spot in that clip of the video because you're an old guy, you know, this chick is dancing around, what are you gonna do? But it wasn't till days later that I saw another clip of him like finger fucking the chick. So now it's a whole other story. Like now he's like taking his fucking finger and he's like massaging her buttock. Like, like, God, like finger fucking her in the ass. Okay. So at that point, you re if your hands, it's kind of like a strip club thing. If you're not supposed to touch them, but they can touch you. So Urban, to his wife, if he hadn't been finger fucking her, then he could have claimed the, the, the plea to, hey, look, I didn't know, I didn't know what was happening. Uh, she, you know, the music was playing. She was dancing around. I was kind of trapped at the bar and blah, 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 fuck. I think any, I think most wives, although they wouldn't appreciate it, <coughs> they could kind of give you a pass on that. But when you're using your hands to carouse this young lady who's probably, I guess she was 30, and I don't know how fucking old Urban is, I'm guessing 60, but he's using his fingers to do the walking. Um, then it's a different story because now his body, he's, his brain is choosing to take his finger and carouse her ass. Okay? In the other scenario, or scenario, if you're uh, from the Northeast, he was an innocent dick stander. Like, he's just stand, sitting on his little stool. She's shaking around. Now, here's my theory, folks. I think that whole troop, there was like two or three women and a photographer. Like, who's videotaping this stuff? Apparently, the story is that this went on a burner social media account. Whatever. I mean, I guess that's a new thing. Someone put all this shit on social media, and then once it started to get copied and spread around, they ditched the fucking, um, oh, they ditched the fucking account. <sighs> account. Now, I haven't heard of these women, the blonde lady and her friends. I haven't heard anyone release her name. No one's tried to interview her about this situation with Urban. Another sports radio guy said Urban was wearing an Ohio shirt, and that's like a tell, like, okay, you're an NFL coach now, why aren't you wearing the Jaguars shirt? Why are you still in college? Because Urban doesn't want to grow up. And if you've ever been on a college campus, you know a lot of these goddamn professors, especially the male ones, they just work at the fucking college to get their egos stroked. And they want to have these young women at their fucking discernment. These old cogs, they, they haven't grown up and faced reality. So they stay as college professors. Not all of them, but some. So they can feel like a big dick in a, in a, in a fucking small room. And all these doe-eyed college girls are looking up to them. Uh, hoping to get recognized and get good grades and all that crap. So... There's a power dynamic there. Uh, these guys like being kings on small campuses or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? So, I'm just telling you the truth. And the truth, sometimes people don't want to hear it. And all the people on ESPN and everywhere else, they're being very polite about this. But the reality is, folks, is this. Urban is, he doesn't, he still wants to be a college coach. He's stupid. He's stupid. Oh, he's like looking like a fucking idiot now. Did were the actual look? If he wants to fucking finger bang a chick in a bar, does it have anything to do with his ability to coach a team? Well, normally you'd say no, but if you're zero and four, now you're zero and five. Uh, signs lead to yes. So, in my humble opinion. If Shad Khan can wheel and deal with this fuck, maybe make Urban Meyer an AEW wrestling manager. Throw him in the ring with Tully Blanchard and all these other fucks. The point of the goddamn matter is this, folks. 
I'm not personally, uh, you know, I don't know anything about Urban. I'm not his buddy. But I just feel like my impression is he hasn't really raised his game from the college level. He's not cut out for this. Um, 0 and 5 is disgraceful for anybody. Apparently, the Jaguars, the Jaguars have lost 20 games in a row going back to last season. You could only blame this dick fuck for, for these five. But I think they need to cut bait. And I think, like, Shad Khan, you know, he's a very wealthy man and all that stuff. But still, you don't want to just throw money into the wind. And it's almost like if they fire Urban Meyer at this point for these ethics violations, I think they have to pay his ass, right? Like, his money's guaranteed. So that's another topic. Like, well, who do you get? I mean, I would not be surprised if Shad started putting out some preliminary feelers. Who would be available to coach this team if we need to drop Urban? And, I mean, but maybe Shad, I'm not, I'm not insulting Shad or whoever the fuck, but do they care enough to take those precautions? I mean, I think, like, look, uh, Jimmy Johnson, the fucking, what's his dick, the Patriots guy, uh, Bob Kraft... They would have taken these things. They would have done these things. They would have been on the phone seeing, like, what coach could possibly be available? Do we hire, do we upgrade from within? Is there a coach on our Jaguars team or Jaguars team that is ready for the the big assignment, the head coaching job? You see what I'm saying? If they were, if they gave a fuck, I'm not, I don't know, Shad Khan. If he gave a fuck, if he wanted to salvage this season, not talking about the fucking future of the franchise, but look, at 0-4, you still have plenty of football left, folks. You have 12 games. Granted, going from 0-4 to 12-4 is going to be a bit of a challenge, but you just can't put these guys out there risking injury without a leader that they feel good about. And that's what happened this week. Uh, the Jaguars, I didn't watch the whole goddamn game, but they were in there for a while, but then they just, you know, lost. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to, wins and fucking losses. And right now, Urban is an 0-5 head coach, which is not a good look for any fucking buddy. Oh, my. It's not a good look to be 0-5 for anyone. So, um, I just have to think that some type of settlement if they can get Urban to go along with it like look Urban we know you we promised your ass a bunch of money but you've done some things we think it's best if we could part ways let's get our lawyers together let's make a compromise um, but for the good of the franchise and perhaps the good of yourself Let's not put each other through this awkward, uncomfortable situation. Let's sign this fucker a check, put the lawyers in the office, make a goddamn deal, and move the fuck on. Now look, it's not just because he's finger-banging some whore in a goddamn fucking Ohio bar and humiliating his poor wife, his poor goddamned wife, One of these broadcasters was saying, you know, we put our wives through all this crap. We put football on this fucking pedestal. And when you say you're going to be there, you want to spend the night with your grandchildren. Well, Urban, you fucking lied. You lied to your players. You lied to everyone. You wanted to go to your goddamn bar that you own and be a big shot. And these uh, women presented themselves. And this was a way for you to swing your goddamn Urban Meyer dick feel like a goddamn 30 year old again and uh, feel like someone gave a fuck about your penis which sorry to say old man they were just there as a setup it was a setup job buddy you fell for it you fuck so who had the motivation to set this up if it was a setup which i'm conjecturing just opinions not facts um some might say well maybe it was the, you know maybe shag khan set it up because he wanted an ethics violation to get rid of this fuck. I don't think so. 
I think it was just someone from Urban's past, a jilted player or some somebody who just didn't like Urban Meyer set this fucking thing up. So I feel bad on that count. But I, I just, I don't know if I have either faith nor sympathy in this guy. And uh, I'm not a fan. So Jason Michael, I hope you've enjoyed your special dedicated rant. I think it's in two parts now. I think the phone died on me. Hopefully the first part of this rant, which was another 20 minutes, didn't get sacrificed and I can find it. If you watch this whole part and you didn't see this, the, the fucking other part, I guess I'll try to put them together or just have two parts. But this is subscribe to Mike Messier YouTube channel. This is not my comfort zone, folks. I'm not a sports expert. I'm more of a pro wrestling aficionado, historian, expert, if you would. But I, I can't be responsible uh, for everything. You know, I've got to do my thing. Uh, Urban, obviously, likes doing his thing. And uh, so on and so forth and so on and so forth. So I, I just, I don't know. I've, I think I've made my case. I think it's time to move on. I think Urban Meyer needs to go from Jacksonville and do something else. And uh, so on and so forth. Mike Messier. Has anyone heard from these young women? Answer me that. Okay, Jason, Michael, there's your rant, buddy. Oh, Lord.